All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and we're, we just did a back video for a dumbbell only back workout. Now we're doing a dumbbell only chest workout. So. All right, so we're gonna start with a floor press. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises, whether you're at home in the gym, whether you have access to a full gym, I don't care. I really, really like floor presses with a barbell, with dumbbells. So we're gonna start with a dumbbell floor press. The floor press allows you to get a great contraction. So up and squeeze. I don't wanna mess my hair up there. I gotta get on the yoga mat. All right, up and squeeze. Up, squeeze. See the contraction there? Boom, boom, right there, boom. Now look at the grip I have. I like this kind of not quite fully pronated, not neutral. I like this kind of in-between grip. It actually lines up your upper chest fibers, the uh, clavicular fibers, but it just feels natural to me. So up and squeeze. A lot of the pressing you see me do with barbells, I stop, I don't lock out. This exercise, I actually like to lock out and squeeze. Uh, we call these hex presses, smash presses. What Brett's doing is he's actually smashing the dumbbells together. These are, this is another exercise that's great for a chest contraction. You get a lot of good tricep work with this too. So really it's good for uh, chest and triceps. But when you come up, you're locking out and you're squeezing. Another absolutely fantastic chest exercise. The hex press is what we normally call it. Even though these aren't the hex dumbbells. You call it a smash press if you want. All right. <laughs> Exercise number two. Hello everybody, my name is Alexander Meadows and today I'm going to be doing two-handed around the world with my new Loop 2020s. And by the way guys, I have an Instagram at MeadowsGang48. Make sure to go follow me there to see more yo-yo tricks. Third exercise, now if you watched the back, the back workout the other day with dumbbells, you saw me do this fly version where I had my hands together pronated and I kind of slyly mentioned this works your chest too. So that's what we're going to do. The emphasis is going to be a little different. I'll talk you through it as I do these. So I'm going to lay down. You're going to do this. It's like a pull over. It's not really a fly. It's more of a pullover. So, so again, pronate a grip, dumbbells together. Now, as I come down, I want you to watch my wrist. You see how I rolled my wrist like that? That's gonna get your lat stretching, but now I want you to pull up with your chest. Flex your chest. When I had you doing this for back, we stopped right here. For chest, I actually want you to come down a little bit further and squeeze your chest. So roll the wrist a little, stretch your lats. Now pull with your chest real hard, all the way up. Just like that. Chest, flex your chest. These are sneaky. Oh, they're a lot harder than they look. These are only 25 pound dumbbells I have. Oh, squeeze your chest. Oh, okay. Okay, exercise number four is gonna be a flat dumbbell fly. So, now I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a real big fan of regular dumbbell flies. I feel like when you're with this neutral grip and you start coming down really low, I feel like there's some shoulder stress there, rotator cuff stress, it doesn't feel good. Now, when I'm on a machine fly and I'm sitting there, it actually doesn't feel as bad. Um, I will say this, I'm normally using the, the, or the uh, manual resistance machines here, which allow you to lighten up at the bottom and go heavier at the top. But I'm not a real big fan of a heavy weight coming way back like this. It may not hurt you right now, but five years from now, 10 years from now, I don't think it'd be good. But, but on this one here, the floor stops you from going too deep. So I'm not, I don't have a problem with this. Actually, I think this feels pretty good. The other thing I wanna mention before I do these is there's a certain point at the top where you lose tension. So you don't have to bring them together. Like there's no, there's just no stressing on the muscle at all. So we're gonna come up about four fifths of the way. Let me show you. About right here, you're gonna come down. Your elbows are gonna to touch the ground. Like right here, my elbows are touching. See that? And then I'm coming up to about right here. 
There's no tension from here to here. I can't feel anything changing. Actually, I lose stress off my chest. It actually makes it worse. So here to here. That actually feels pretty good. Right there. I'd keep them going, get the burn going on these. I wouldn't try to do these real heavy. Just get that burn going. Notice my arms, they have a little bend and they're locked. So I'm not doing this. A lot of people do this kind of hybrid, which is fine, but I want you to do a fly. So boom, here, boom, there. Okay, your last exercise is a push-up, but we're gonna use dumbbells to create a deficit. So you'll get a little bit of a stretch. So Brett's got a couple dumbbells out here. Now, I would advise you to do these nice and slow. You want the dumbbells to be in a position where they don't like literally roll out, as the transformers would say. See how the dumbbells aren't moving? Now he's got his elbows in real nice. I like, I like the angle right here. He's getting a real good stretch on his chest. He's getting some good tricep work. Now, the one thing I would say, Brett, is pick your chin up. Oh, he's getting a little tired. I'm tired. Huh? What a failure. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to hop in here and I'm going to show you the advanced version. If that's too easy, by easy, I would say if you can get more than 15 reps, I want you to do the advanced version. So all we're going to do is prop our feet up. Chin up. Right here, back flat. Again, nice and steady. Right here. Oh, these are tough. Ah. Uh, mm. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty tough. That might be the hardest thing we did. I want you to pick four or all five exercises. I want you to do about three sets per exercise. On the floor press, I'd like for you to do somewhere around eight reps, roughly. Uh, the second exercise was the dumbbell smash press, the hex press. Eight to ten reps on that. The third exercise was the pullover. Reps a little bit higher on that, ten to twelve. The fourth exercise was the flies. On those, I want you to do like fifteen sets of fifteen. Get that burn in there. And then on the push-ups. Really on this one, you, I probably wouldn't even say do three sets. I'd say, honestly, probably maybe one or two and just go to complete failure. Um, that's it. That's a pretty wicked chest workout, actually, if you do it. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.